This is the temple of the mystery of abstinence. Do not eat of the food or you will be punished. All within are hereby bound to a vow of abstinence. This is the temple of the mystery of abstinence. didn't work. And some mothers complain that their children don't come to see them. You, mommy, you're, so you're so good. So good. Shocked? This is the mystery of motherly love. Everyone says motherhood is fulfilling, when in reality, it's draining. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm such a pessimist. What you must think of me. You don't know the half of it. Welcome to the Temple of the Mystery of Religion. The mystery is thus. Those who preach love and mercy in God's name are often those who call for the death of heathens. Do you believe in God, my son? Heretic! You have not seen the light, my son. But we shall open your eyes, even if we must shut them first.
Well, that didn't okay. work. Okay. What do you want here? I'm just passing through. You think it's that simple, huh? Just passing through? Well, my family was just sitting around. And look where it got them. The temple of the mystery of morality. My country paid me to kill. And then when I came home, I was out of a job. They expected me to stop? Cold turkey? Is that what they wanted? A paycheck today, jail cell tomorrow? Am I a criminal or an entrepreneur? Hey, let's find out. Welcome to the Temple of the Mystery of Flesh, Steve. Have a bite? Mr. Potsdam? The mystery is this. Sometimes you have to lose some meat to get some meat. They wouldn't let me in until I demonstrated my worthiness. My invitation came after I buried Karen alive. That showed initiative. And her spinal cord was your ticket in, right? Yes. But to be initiated into the mysteries of the harvest, I had to do one last thing. I let them into the house and into Stephanie's bedroom. Sorry, that's not my department. Now I'm a butcher. You should have gotten your dad to hire me on. That way, you could have been the boss, instead of the prime cut! Hello, handsome. Looking for a good time at a reasonable price? Scorn mixed with desire, that's our lot. Such is the mystery of lust. So often the instruments of lust, as all instruments of higher pleasure, are condemned as frequently as they are sought after. I'd go on about the hypocrisy of a hedophobic society, but I think I'd rather just kill me a man. Welcome to the Temple of Beauty. And am I not beautiful, O oh man? Look at my hair, black as a moonless night. Look into my eyes, deep pools of desire. Look at my complexion, 
pale white and glistening. You bastard! Welcome, Initiate, to the Temple of the Mystery of Pain. The mystery is thus. The simple manipulation of nerves may break one man, and yet leave another unmoved. The physiology is the same. All nerves sing alike, yet the results differ. The question can only be answered by paradox. Although the body functions according to the tenets of science, the invocation of pain is an art. My implements are simple things, like a painter's brushes, from which beautiful complexities spring. Different stories brought forth from different canvases, with the different application of a stroke. Ah! I invite you now to torture this man on the table, to explore this blessed mystery yourself. Otherwise, I'll have to teach you the lesson myself. Well, that didn't work. Welcome to the temple of the mystery of charity. What mystery is there in charity, for God's sake? The mystery is the... Any act of charity is an act of selfishness. For in any charitable exchange, one must take from another, and one is always left the poorer. A feeling, discouraging answer, initiate. You see, though I am needy, I do not consider myself a beggar so much as a taker. I require charity, Initiate. Give me something. Charity is a loathsome lie. The only gift that keeps on giving is death. This is the temple of the mystery of mercy. You're just in time for our little retirement ceremony. As part of your initiation, you'll be required to execute judgment. That's how all the people are disposed of in the lodge. And each member is expected to his share. In that case, you'll have to get past me. The lodge is the mystery of mercy. Life is a competition, and mercy a perversion of the natural order. When you extend mercy to a competitor, you give him a second chance to beat you.
Welcome to the Inner Sanctum, big guy. Principal Harold? Within the Inner Sanctum, you will address me as Vice Muck Harold, second in command to the Grand Muckety Muck. He of the Fez and Buffalo Ham, the secret handshake, the funny passwords. Only fitting, given that my role has always been that of an educator, and Harvest is one big classroom. What do you mean? You'll, You'll have, have to, to kill, kill me, me to, to find, find out what he means, means big, big guy. guy. <laughs> Welcome to the... Yeah. 
the real world or stay in peace with young Stephanie and spend the rest of your life in the construct known as Harvest. What is the real world at this point? Right now, you are suspended in a sensory deprivation tank wired to a VR tech. If you don't join us, we will terminate your life support and you will be dead within minutes. Those last minutes, however, will seem like a lifetime lived in harvest. You will marry Stephanie and die peacefully of old age. You're presuming a lot. Aside from you, she is the only real person in harvest. Suspended in a tank, jacked in just as you are. I assume you'll want to spend time together. If I stay. Of course, having completed your ordeal, you may leave with her as you intended and enjoy your victory. If, on the other hand, you wish to join us, the cost of exiting the lodge is the same as the cost of entering the lodge. A skull and spinal cord. They put people through this torture to give them a taste for killing. The way to beat them is to deny them. To live out your life here. With me. You're thinking about killing me, aren't you? Didn't you hear what he said? I do exist. If you kill me here, I'll die for real. And I'll feel all the pain, all the terror, because I'm real. Well. After all, what's a murder without pain and terror? We will feed the pain impulses directly into our brain and then pull the plug. You will be a murderer, this time for real. So what will it be? Life in harvest or life as a harvester? Disappoint me. You had possibilities. I'd rather die than become as twisted as you. You've made your choice and succeeded in your quest. Enjoy the life you've chosen, such as it is. been something. Never look back. We got two more to plug in. There's got to be a better way to develop these serial killers. This is scientific. You want we should go back to the old way? What old way? 
good breeding. Please help me. Steve, don't do this, please. No, no, please, somebody help me. No. Welcome to our order, brother. Where are you going? Nowhere. Nowhere at all. What are you doing, Sam? Playing Harvester. That thing? I looked at it the other day. The very thought. Breeding serial killers. It's disgusting. It's cool. You'll rot your mind playing games like that. Don't you know people who watch violence become violent themselves? That's bullshit, Mom. No, it isn't. Why do you think they started cutting the violence out of those Roadrunner cartoons? Roadrunner cartoon. <laughs> Roadrunner cartoon? <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.